Hello everybody and welcome to another Grand Arena prep video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, fleets, how to master what to put on offense and what on, on defense and how to think through uh, that whole process. Uh, I don't do this every month, every GZ cycle, just when I think something has changed significantly enough to discuss it. The last one I did was three months ago, uh, so I feel like it is time to make another one. Um, for a few things that were just developed in strategic thinking and also the comeuppance, I just feel like I should discuss. Uh, now to start, uh, there are six core fleets. If you have like every fleet in the game, that's assuming. And even if you don't, like these are the top six fleets. Uh, you got your Sith with Leviathan. It's probably the best overall. Second is Rebels with Profundity. Second best overall. Executor, although Executor can definitely punch up. Uh, Empire Chimera, this is a lifesaver. Even if you don't have Scythe, you can make something work with it, but it kind of changes things around. Negotiator, especially with Marauder, uh, but even if you don't have Marauder up and running like a lot of people don't, it's still going to be a top six fleet. And then Separatists, the Malevolence. Um, so if you have everything, those are probably the six you're going to want to use at least. Um, have three of these on defense and then another three on offense, and then you have plenty more for offense as well. Um, but I'm going to be talking about things in terms of offensive fleets, defensive fleets, and flex fleets, and explaining my thought process behind all of them. So first we'll talk about offense fleets, and uh, this could either mean it's indispensable on offense, or it's basically a liability on defense. Uh, so the only one to fit in the first category is Chimera. So Chimera is absolutely necessary in endgame to take on offense, in my opinion, unless you're taking tons of meta fleets. Because it can counter the, the Leviathan, which barely anything can. It's like that or a mirror. I can counter Executor, which there are other counters for, but it's still one of the top defensive fleets in the game. And then you can be basically anything else. The only thing it really like comes up against a hard wall against is Profundity, because uh, you don't have the turn meter kicking in. Those turn meter mechanics are just useless, which is what this draws on. Uh, but even like against Negotiator, you might... Probably is going to struggle against Negotiator, but everything else can just wipe it out. It's like, just go get it, man. Um, Malevolence is a common sight, and if I have plenty left over that I use on their meta fleets, and they just have Malevolence left, this does pretty well. Um, actually, I think it might be pretty good against Negotiator, too, um, just because as I think Scythe has anti-Jedi synergies. Uh, Executrix, this is only if you don't... If your opponent sets Profundity and you don't have uh, your own to take in a mirror, but you have Scythe of some, for some reason, uh, the Scythe, Empire Shuttle, uh, the Gauntlet Starfighter, and then at least High Bomber and Reinforcements can beat it. Uh, but a lot of people are running, you're going to run into trouble now with the speed of this. It might be too fast. Ideally, you want this to go after you get debuffed from Profundity, uh, but its speed, while it looks low at 160, you get plus 20 speed and an additional 15 for each act of Empire Alley. So that is uh, 50 speed. So it goes too fast now that we have Relic, Gar, and ISC. So CG got us to Relic, Gar, and ISC, or a lot of us, uh, with the uh, rework to ISC. But, and also his extra ability jacks up the speed too. So that's not really as reliable as it once was. But if you have a weaker Gauntlet Starfighter, then you're actually in luck. Um, finalizer, first order, this is mainly like a last resort to take on Executor as like a first or first run or a cleanup. Say you had rough run-ins against uh, some other meta fleets, maybe you had to t uh, take two attempts on their Leviathan, and then you don't have your normal counter for the Executor. You want to take in first order and then bring in a cleanup or something. Home 1 I think is a last resort at this point. If you don't have Profundity and you have like Home 1 with Millennium Falcon, that's a different story, that's pretty good, but it still falls prey to even like Malevolence and Negotiator, so it's still not even top six, even if you do give it the Millennium Falcon. Uh, and that is, those are the only fleets I'm going to talk about in pure offense terms. Now we come to the defensive fleets, and um, this is where things have changed in my mind strategically as it comes to the Leviathan. I used to go against an opponent, if they didn't set Leviathan, I'm like, why didn't you set Leviathan? You just made it so much easier on me. However, it's like a real prisoner's dilemma situation where it depends on what they do, what you should do. So 
I have here this Mark VI defensive team. If your opponent always sets Leviathan, never brings it on offense, this is probably a good idea to stop Chimera or at least throw people off. I am very used to the Chimera counter, uh, but this really threw a monkey wrench in it because it's like, it's hard to kill a Mark VI right away. He's not getting the insta kill, but it's hard to kill him right away because it's like you whittle him down and then he gets his stacks back up by 10 and then you need five more hits to kill him. And then the Sith Bomber isn't an easy target right away. It's just, it complicates things. So if your opponent never brings Leviathan on offense, setting this might be a good idea to trip them up. Uh, Profundity might have a better shot against this than other things, but it's still like a really dicey race to your ultimate that I don't feel comfortable with. And then you pretty much never want to put Scimitar in reinforcements. Uh, it takes up space. You want Empire's EP Shuttle to come in because it's a high reinforcement priority, um, especially if you have Sith Fighter in the starting lineup. Um, if you don't, then I think you probably could go without EP Shuttle there. Just have Sith Fighter come in first and then Make sure the tie Dorito is coming in. When I run um, this lineup in Arena with Sith Fighter, I like to bring in Ty Dorito first and then Mark Six. but defense is not going to prioritize it. Um, so if you do set Sith Fighter, you want EP Shuttle there. So it comes in first instead of Mark Six because AI is stupid. It's going to bring in Mark Six first, which is just the worst of both worlds. And I, do, I recommend putting this lineup if you have a really fast Sith Fighter. So if you have a really fast High Relic Sith Fighter, then it's not easily mirrorable. Um, you can still win. Like, I can beat, like, a Relic 7, 8, 9, even uh, mirror match with my Relic 5. It's just, it's really messy. And a lot of times they got their ult off and I just win with five ships against two. Um, but it just depends. Like, if you have a slow Sith Fighter like mine, they can just bring in a mirror and just dunk on you. If their Sith Fighter goes first and they're in control, they're on offense, it is just a complete snowball. Um, so that is a reason you might not want to set this. And then also if you, the reason I don't have a Ty Dorito starting lineup in is, if you set Ty Dorito starting lineup, um, it is still susceptible to Chimera. And then if your opponent brings in their Leviathan, even if they have a crap Sith Fighter like me, they can just dunk on it, just easy win, like, really simple for them so that is the whole big change around leviathan executor i still think it is the most solid defensive team out there uh, or like it's the most likely to be a fleet you want to put on defense if you have it uh if you're like a lower mid game player and that's your only good fleet and you just want to make sure you clear or something you might want to bring it on offense um and it can beat profundity if you go about the right way um it has an outside chance at Leviathan even, but it's like really difficult. So defense is really a, just a good idea. Um, you actually probably want to switch the reinforcement order. I I think it might, the AI might take into account your placement for the reinforcement. So putting Houndstooth first is a good idea. And then um, uh, Slave One will come in after you've got all that contract and everything and just be ready for its wang, its big uh, under the protection hit. This is going to demand something, so that's just a nice cornerstone to have on your defense. Malevolence, another core defensive team. It's just, it's not really going to hold, like, get, like, wins, like, holds that they get stopped. It's just going to steal banners, buzz droids, all the assists. It, it's annoying. Um, and then this is not a real likely possibility, but I do see people use it. Um, if you don't have, like, tons of meta fleets, but you do have mace and you have marauder, you have a good negotiator fleet you could run negotiator without marauder or uh, even uh, fives a ship uh, there's enough galactic republic fleet so you start ahsoka and y-wing uh, and then you might want to put this on defense and it is kind of tough uh, chimera still beats it pretty easily and i think it's not the best but it's like an option i saw plenty of people do this even at the top of kyber one and I navigated it fine, but like there was one time, like, one of my matches, I saw this and overthought. And instead of putting Profundity on a, on Executor and then Chimera there, I tried to use Chimera on Executor and it didn't work. And it would have worked just fine here. So, but it is a decent defensive team. It is not a pushover. So that's why I include it. Mace has a degree work. Marauder's amazing. Uh, so you just want to include it here. And that is all for defensive fleets. And the last segment is the flex fleets. This could go either way, offense or defense. 
Uh, Profundity is still a very solid defensive team, but I personally like to bring it on offense. But I moved it to flex squads. I don't know if I did that last time too. Um, but I at one at one point had it just an offense because Leviathan was getting rolled by it. But it can simultaneously beat almost anything. It can even beat Leviathan. It's just really difficult. It's a race to the, your ultimate. If you miss it by a little bit, you're toast. And it's also a super undersized or super banner generator. And if like we're in an all offense meta, you want this on offense. A lot of times you can win with just the three ships. Like you could be a negotiator a lot of times with just the three ships. Um, the Empire Bomber is here only for a mirror. So if you have a mirror, you probably want these three Empire Bomber and then like Ghost or something or or Cassian Zui. Like just one extra ship you want. Like it's tempting. I always get tempted to bring out Phantom and it's always a bad idea. Um, first, you just bring out the Bomber and the mirror. And then it handles Executor with like 90% win rate. It's just toss up. You want to target. Um, if it's triple attacker, I think you want to target IG-88. Either calling Millennium Falcon or Outrider to assist first with with the Profundity Disability. Um, I've had most luck calling Millennium Falcon, but I know most people do Outrider and that's not wrong either. It just, I've lost that way more often. Um, Negotiator is amazing, like it's a flex team. Uh, you can put this on offense or defense. I've been using it on defense lately on offense. A lot of times it was left just, just to just take out malevolence, which I can do easily with a lot of stuff. Um, but it can beat the meta fleets, but it is not as clean as you would want. Um, it is pretty clean against Executor, uh, but against Profundity, it's kind of a crapshoot. And then Leviathan, it's like more of a two shot setup. Uh, but on defense, it is just a pain in the butt. Like Marauder is just such a game changer. Um, you probably don't want to put fives in your reinforcements if you are setting it on defense. That's why I don't have it here. But a lot of times if I'm taking out Malevolence, fives in the starting lineup, even if a Marauder is easier, uh, you just do a basic on Hyena Bomber. It gets out early and then gets all the bus droids out. And then your Anakin is going to keep going daisy chaining turns whenever you take a turn because you lost some health. Um, but it can pretty much take out anything else easily. And yeah, taking out Executor is no small feat. And then the other new thing is we have the comeuppance. And I think probably your best lineup is going to be Ray's Millennium Falcon, Poe, and uh, the Bomber, the, the tank in the starting lineup. And then Dory in the reinforcement because she has a great reinforcement ability. And I know most people don't have this, um, but it's basically like Poe's reinforcement ability is all about getting gaining dramatic entrance. Like that's all it does. So I don't think there's any point to having him in reinforcements. Um, Zora's ship is going to take care of that for you. Um, now I put it in flex because I'm actually not totally sure. Like the testing and footage is inconclusive on a, a variety of fleets. Like it's it's not really going to kill like I think a top tier profundity Leviathan executor fleet really. Um, maybe it's speeding executor. Um, I think it struggles against triple attacker and it can beat the standard lineup. But I think this is a good opportunity for a banner stealing team on defense. And then if you have it on offense, it's just a higher quality type cleanup team. Like there are times when Radis has saved my bacon. Um, like coming in, I screwed the pooch against a Leviathan and I only killed one ship. I killed like the Fury, but I came in with Radis even before comeuppance and got the win. Like, and it was pretty smooth. So I'm excited to at least try this out here and there. Um, most end game, mid game players have work, have built up their Zori. Some were waiting for acceleration, but uh, it's just interesting to see that. Um, and then Leviathan, I put it in flex here too. <laughs> I just because it depends on your opponent. Like, if this is the comp you're going to put in on offense, like Sith Fighter, you're going to want to use it most of the time. Um, but I didn't put like an offense only fleet and a defense only fleet. I put that qualifier on the defense saying only if you have a fast fighter you want it on defense. But if you're facing another Leviathan and they started Ty Dorito or Mark VI, it's an easy win. If you have a faster Sith fighter, it's an easy win. And then against anything else, you can usually put in Ty Dorito starting a lineup and it's an easy win. So it's just making your, it can make your life a lot easier if you have it on offense. 
Um, so it's just not as it's not as simple as I had before. Just just only put it on defense. Um, and that is my thought on flex squads. That's it for this one. Hope this helps you understand fleets or at least how to split up your fleets a little bit better. Uh, if you're not in Kyber and you only have two and two, I still think this should help you think through that. <laughs> I was just trying this out in Arena. I did not really do what I was hoping it would do. Uh, but yeah, good luck this season and I will see you in the next one.